kids, it's time for reading. In today's lesson, we're going to be reading Apple Pie 4th of July. The 4th of July is an American holiday. On the 4th of July, we celebrate the birthday of the United States. Before we get reading, we need to make a few predictions about our story. But before we can do that, let's review what it means to predict. Remember, a prediction is a best guess about what is going to happen next. You can use pictures or text clues to make predictions. And don't forget, as you're reading, stop and think if your predictions were correct. Now that you remember what a prediction is, let's look at our cover. The title is called Apple Pie 4th of July, and this is our picture. Hmm, what do you think this book is going to be about? You might be right. One thing I noticed is that it talks about apple pie, but I don't see apple pie. I see what looks like a takeout box. And the girl doesn't look very happy. Hmm, maybe she wants apple pie for her 4th of July. Maybe her 4th of July is different than other people's. I don't know, but I do know how we can find out. Let's get reading to check our predictions. Seven days a week, 52 weeks. 364 days a year, and 365 in a leap year, our store is open. Christmas is the only day we close. Even on Thanksgiving, we open the store. Even on New Year's Day, even today, the 4th of July. I hear the parade coming this way. Boom, boom, boom. I smell apple pie in Laura's oven upstairs and chow mein in our kitchen. Chow mein, Chinese food on the 4th of July? Nobody wants Chinese food on the 4th of July, I say. Fireworks are Chinese, father says, and hands me a pan full of sweet and sour pork. Hmm, why do you think the girl says no one wants to eat Chinese food on the 4th of July? I think maybe she thinks that people might only want to eat American food on that day. I hear the parade, boom, boom, boom. I hear the parade passing by. Noon and customers come for soda and potato chips. One o'clock, they buy ice cream. Two o'clock, the egg rolls are getting hard. Three o'clock, ice and matches. Four o'clock, the noodles feel like shoelaces. No one wants Chinese food on the 4th of July, I say. Mother piles noodles on my plate. My parents do not understand all American things. They were not born here. Even though my father has lived here since he was 12, even though my mother loves apple pie, I cannot expect them to know that Americans do not eat Chinese food on the 4th of July. How do you think the girl is feeling? I agree, she looks upset, maybe a little disappointed. Why do you think she feels that way? It seems like she thinks her parents don't understand American things like the 4th of July. So I straighten the milk in the videos and sample a few new candy bars until five o'clock when two hungry customers walk inside for some Chinese food to go. I tell them no one, no one came. So we ate it up ourselves, but they smell food in the kitchen now. And mother walks through the swinging door holding a tray of chicken chow mein and father follows her step for step with a brand new pan of sweet and sour pork and three more people get in line 11 more at six o'clock nine at seven 12 by eight more and more and more and more hold on what is happening at the store you're right customers are buying chinese food lots of food on the fourth of july until it's time to close the store. Time to climb to our rooftop chairs way up high beyond the crowd where we sit and watch the fireworks show and eat our apple pie. Wow, it's really cool how different people celebrate different holidays in different ways. As I leave you today, I want you to be thinking about your predictions. What was the same as what happened in the book? What was different? Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye friends.